illegal for an owner of a restaurant to refuse to provide service to an owner of a service animal. Take a look at this. I don't see why I have to do this. Because it's my right to. Right, it's your right, right. It's my right to ask you to please just get on the porch. No, it's not your right. It is my right. What services I can ask you? Is it a service? Medical services? alert, mobility, and guide. Right, okay. For you? Right. Yes, for medical me. Medical alert, mobility, and guide. If the dog's with you, it can guide you out the door, and it can be medical alert and mobility right out there, too. I know you're taking a stand, and that's great, and hoorah for you. It's my civil rights, ma'am. Awesome. It's my right Both to not state? have a dog in my restaurant. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's a service dog, so I you do not have the right to say no. I walked in here, we were going to have this. I don't, I just don't need it right now. I don't need it today. Could you just give a shit outside, please? No, it's my civil rights. I'm not leaving to go out there. Make it sweet to go. The owner of that restaurant insisted that the food of the owner of the service dog be made to go. Does she have a right to do that? Let me know what you think in the comment section. You won't believe what this customer said to a retail employee after he was asked to pay for a newspaper he was trying to read. Take a look. Working this shift, you are no longer. Huh? I'm, you're no longer welcome. You sneeze on these newspapers, you're no longer welcome here. That you. You're you are. You got the air ring general, and you're telling me to be. You are crazy? disrespectful. That was disrespectful. You have yelled at me. Oh, you're I'm clean as any. Not welcome in here. Anymore. Look here. I use a sanitizer all the time. Okay, the you, you sneeze on the paper. She's not saying that you're unsanitary. She's saying from her manager's instructions you're not allowed that she to put it back. Oh, I won't cannot. come in here anymore. Okay, I'll okay. go to the other one. Okay, I'm, we're just letting you know that this is from her manager's perspective, and I don't think it's... If you can uh, get the customer service line a call, they'll be able to let you know, and you can talk with them, because that's a problem. Oh, I've called my manager and asked okay, because so I called the lenders. They'll help you out with that the audacity of some people why would you want a service that you don't want to pay for unbelievable what would you do if you have a karen or a kevin as a next door neighbor take a look at this this neighbor of mine is mad that i'm parked here even though it's legal parking and he's yelling you carry on Putting all that crap on the road, you should be ashamed of yourself. Make sure you've got that on camera. Yes. And all the called. Morning. Yes. Make sure you're in the neighbor's yard. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. You he recorded here. that. Be yeah. good evidence. Yes. So he's mad that I'm legally parked here, um, and he yelled, at you. "I'm going to show you who's the boss." You, why don't you park outside your own house? It's legal here. Why don't you why don't you do the generally thing and park outside your own house? Which of the neighbors' side are you on on this one? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Please take your time to watch this unbelievable drama that happened at the local Walmart. Take a look at this. And I just that lady told me she was calling the police, and okay. it seemed like she was telling them my car license plate. So I'm not finna leave until we get this, you know, settled. Okay. Where they at? So you like to talk to him? I believe you. Well, I, it's not about me talking to him. It's about her talking to them, and then you know, causing problems for me. You know what I mean? It ain't like I initiated this. Right. You know? But no, you, you had asked me if I wanted to come back here and help you. I don't know. Did you need my help or did you just want to talk to them now? Well, I, I mean, it's, I don't know what's going on. Hey, what's going on? I got called out here about a possible shoplifting. Uh -huh. Can you talk to me a little bit about what's going on? Do I have to or do I got the right to remain silent? I mean, you always have the right to remain silent. You don't yeah. have to talk to me. But, yeah. Uh, if you don't want to talk to me, I'll just talk to you. That's okay? Yeah. So what's going on is I got called out here for shoplifting. They said that you took a water. Okay. So right now I have loss prevention checking the footage. They're going to verify all that. Until I can determine what's going on, you are being detained. So I'm going to ask you not to leave. Uh, am, I, am I detained for what, though? 
until I complete my investigation. Am I, I'm not suspected of a crime now. You are suspected of a crime. You're suspected of shoplifting. But just because somebody told you that? Yes. But that, that's, that, that's not nothing though. That's not a, do you have any evidence that I have did it? That's what I'm saying. Until I can finish my investigation, you're being detained. No, so I, no, I, you can't detain me. Yes, I can. you, no, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you, no, you can't. Because first of all, uh -huh. if I wanted to leave, I could have been left. You could have, but you decided to stay. Okay, so... Now that I'm here, you're being detained until I complete my investigation. But it's an illegal detain, it's, though. It's not illegal. Yes, it is. Sir. It's because I'm black, so you think that I am a guilty of it? No. I think that you're guilty. I suspect that you may be guilty of it. But why is that, I'm though? Tell court. me why do you, you, yourself, why you suspect it in your brain if you ain't even did an investigation yet? You can't detain somebody before the investigation. I can detain someone during the investigation. During the investigation? Yes. My investigation is ongoing. Right now, I'm waiting for law prevention to get in place. Uh -huh. If at the end of my investigation, it comes back that, hey, you did hurt this item, that's totally fine. Sorry for wasting your time, you'll be good to go. But if I leave now, uh -huh. you can't do nothing to me. Yes, I can. No, if what if you find out that I didn't do nothing? What if you find out I didn't do nothing? Don't walk up on me. Don't, don't do that. Well, you don't want to do. You know that, man. You don't want to man. I can, I can walk. No, you can't. You can't. No, I can't. If you try to leave, I will put you in handcuffs, and I will detain you that way until I complete my investigation. Like I said, I don't want to get off on the wrong foot here. But what's the, what's the investigation, though? Yeah, it's off with it's off. You, you don't even know her side of the story yet. What's her side is, what'd she say? She said that you were leaving with an item. She said I was leaving? That's a lie, because I was already out the store. I know, that's a lie, though. Okay. Do you know she's telling the truth? No, but do you know she's telling the truth? You can answer the question. Okay, so like you said, you asked me a question. Yeah. Why, why I'm investigating you specifically. Because she told me that you were leaving with an item. She tried to stop you and ask for a receipt. What, what, do you, receipt. what do you mean I was leaving with the item? So you trying to tell me, is it illegal to lie to you? No, you can lie to me. It's not illegal. It's not illegal to lie to an officer? No. It no? can get to the point of being interfering. So, 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 so basically what you're saying, it can be a false report, though, if she lie. If she lie, if she may, lie okay. So if she telling you that she seen me in the store, uh -huh. It with an item that wasn't paid for, right? I was already on the outside of the store. So that's where the theft was. Are, 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 your, are your workers allowed to come on the outside of the store and grab items on the outside? You already did when we was walking earlier when I was recording, though. So I, you already did earlier when I was recording. So why would you why would you say that now? Is it because I'm black and you just want to you, you don't want to? So you want to lie? To, you want to lie? Just tell the truth. Walmart, they do not want to press charges. They just want you to leave. Hold on a second, sir. What did you just say? I said after speaking. Press charges of what? What do you mean? I said they did, do the what? Hold on a second. You, you need to slow down. Did you see me on camera stealing? They do not want to press charges. Did you see they me on camera stealing? To leave. Did you see me on camera stealing? So I'm asking you now if you will leave. For what? What's the reason? Because they don't want you. What's the reason? Businesses have the, the right to decide who they want. No, to no, I think this is what I, this is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm thinking. You initiating it. You initiating the trespass, and so are you. Y'all, you can't initiate a trespass first of all, and there is no reason to kick me out if I haven't do nothing or target me or make a false report against me. Like I said, businesses have the right. You, I don't. To I'm not listening to what you say. Okay. Because you, you you don't mean nothing. Yo. I sh Okay. You know what? If it's up so, to if, if it was up to me and it was legal, I ripped the badge right off your chest. Okay. You know that, uh, right? Okay. If it was up to me and it was legal, that would be okay then. Uh oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, is the lady here that uh that uh, grabbed my items? Did y'all bring her with you, or is she coming too, or no? Yeah. No, uh, I was wanting to know if I can get an apology for for being accused of of being uh, you know a, a, a thief inside your store. Mm -hmm. I was you know I was wanting to know if I can get an apology from you. You are Jordan, right? Okay. You want an apology from me? Somebody. Everybody. I don't know. <laughs> from somebody, I want one. So it's like I said, I wasn't aware of the situation. Uh huh. Okay, and I told you that I'd help you in any way that I possibly. You wasn't could. aware of it at all. No. You not, wasn't over there with you, the. Not until you came and talked. So you was aware then. At, at one time, point yeah. in time, okay. Yeah. So at this point in time, uh, I was hoping that I could get an apology from somebody. So, so the lady who who uh, who did that to me, which I just wouldn't hit her somewhere or something. 
I can't get an apology. If, if you step on somebody's shoes or you push them down, make them fall, you ain't gonna help them up and apologize? Well. Because I felt like you just pushed me down. Okay. You know? I apologize that you and, and not only that, but you work for Walmart. Right. You're not a single worker. Right. Right? You work for this for this corporation, right? Absolutely. Okay, so what makes what makes you not have any accountability on what happened here today? Right. Just like I told you earlier, if you felt that those things happened, then I would investigate it and I would research it for you and I would address those issues. Didn't you look at the camera? I'm sorry? Did you look at the camera? Yes sir. Did you see me stealing? At at this time I don't I'm not sure. You're not sure? So, at what point in time was you right. sure to where she ran after me then? So here's the deal. I uh -huh. apologize that the police came, but the associate felt threatened in some way or manner. I'm not saying that you were the one that threatened him. She felt threatened, uh -huh. and that's why the police came. Threatened by what? How was she? On the inside of the store or on the out? Because she came on the outside, and anybody who come on the outside don't feel threatened. Because they tell you, if you see somebody do that, not to go out to the parking lot. Because something can happen to someone chasing someone in the parking lot. Which means if she did that, she was bold. She, she wasn't scared of nothing. And it's all on camera. So how could you, how, how would you be able to even speak on her behalf when she's a grown woman? Right. She's not a child. And the reason the associate's not coming up to, uh -huh. okay, is because I'm trying to diffuse the situation between the two. So the no, 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 there's no, di diffuse what now? Diffuse what? The hostility between you? There is no hostility. The only right. thing is, I want an apology. Right, but if she felt threatened, I'm not going to be in the associate. Oh, she felt threatened. Which is why I told you. Is that what she told you? Is that what she told the police too? That's why the police came. Why they never mention that? I'm so, so, so they only mention half of what you tell them? That's between you and the authorities. Oh, it's between me and the authorities. What makes you think that? The there, there is nothing going on between me and the authorities to where it's between, is it between you and the authorities, the Walmart right. company. So if the officers deemed it necessary for you to be out of the premises for 48 hours, that's the authorities who made that decision, right? Yeah, so, so, so you don't, you don't think that was wrong what she done? I'm not going to answer that question. You're not going to answer the question? Okay. So the officers deemed you to be off the property for 48 hours? No, no, the, the officers, did, why, why would they deem you off the property for? Who informed you that 48 hour thing? Why, why would somebody do that? Who informed you of that? I've never heard that. Okay. Like I said, that was the information. Is that, is that what you, so, so what you saying is that y'all kicked me off the property? That's not what I said. So, so what are you saying? Oh, I don't know about this 48, I never heard hey, this. That was just the information that was given to me. I'm out of the loop. At, so, 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 so are you saying that the police said that I couldn't be here for 48 hours? The police can't initiate a trespass. They can't? No, they cannot. I know the law. Okay. You can't tell me. I know the law. You know, I don't have to. I don't, I don't have to. I'm, I'm in here now. And I, and, and I can go shopping right now because I haven't did anything wrong. What's going to happen is you can put your company in, 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 in the deep hole into getting sued. Okay. Is what you, is, is what, is what, you know, like, sort of, you know what I mean? That's the only thing you can go from here. But you're not telling me that I can't be in here and shop and get what I want and leave. You're not telling me that, right? If, if the authorities said you can't come in here, that's I'm not worried about what the authorities say. Are you telling me that? Am I telling you? Go on camera. Are you telling me that? No. Okay, okay. Well, we're fine then. You, you, you ain't worried about me. I can shop, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. So it's okay. Well, I've dealt with you many times. Yeah, okay. I appreciate your business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you never dealt with me before because, you know, we don't... Well, that's yeah. fine. If you see me, you see a lot of people in here, don't you? I see a lot of people, right? No. Exactly. All right, then y'all good. All right, thanks, man. All right. If you were the customer that was wrongfully accused of stealing at Walmart, what exactly would you have done after this? Sue Walmart or demanding an apology like this customer did? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. You won't believe what happened to this ticketing officer while he was writing out a ticket to someone else on the street. Take a look at this. You can't park you, mate. I know. Oh, this is awkward, isn't it? So you're giving someone a ticket. Finally, for this video, Miss Karen here hit someone's car in a parking lot of a church. Then she refuses to provide insurance information to that driver. Take a look. Not as stupid as you think I am, my lady. 
I mean, you have a whole parking lot to park your vehicle, so. I didn't want to park. I was trying to get out. Yeah, I know. So you could get out and. No, nobody needs to run your mouth. Is your car all right or not? Uh, what attitude? Oh, I didn't even touch that. Is your car all right? No, it's not. Oh, there's dirt damage. Uh, right here? Oh, it's a little dirt. Uh, it's not dirt. Thank you. Oh, well, I didn't hit the center. Do you have insurance? And your driver's you. license? You I'll call. Pa I'll go ahead and call Palm Bay PD. You go I'm, ahead. I'm videoing You're everything. Ignorant. I'm ignorant. There's a little... You have an entire parking lot. You backed into my vehicle. I asked you to park. And as I'm looking at the damage of my car, you there about ran no me damage. over. There's some cameras everywhere. Well, Sorry. Well, 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 good for you. You're such a smart, mouthy... Uh, as we stand in a church parking lot. Well, you're the one that's... I just touched it. There is I'm walking from here watching my vehicle move forward as you back oh, into it. I didn't... Oh, come on, lady. I Do you have insurance? I'm not going to argue with you. Stop. He was so you. you. If well, I'm, I'm over there. Where is it? I'm an ran into my vehicle. Do you, have, do you have car insurance and your driver's no, license? No, you're not getting it. Okay. Yes. If you were the driver whose car was hit, what would you do? Let me know in the comment section.